Welcome to the Yellow Rose Homestead. My name is Chris, and I'd like to thank you for joining me with this edition of Homesteaders News, where regardless of the size of your homestead, we bring you the news that matters most, from rule and legal changes, programs and classes, to special events that are going on around the nation and the world. If you'd like to make sure you don't miss an edition of Homesteaders News, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon, which is located down here, I believe, so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. Today, Homesteaders News is coming to you from Effingham, Illinois, with news reports from Columbus, Ohio, Scotland, East Hempfield, Pennsylvania, and a national report. So let's get started. In Columbus, Ohio, the community garden called OG Garden, which stands for Our Garden, founded April 10th of this year, held a garden party on September 8th to celebrate its first harvest. Marjorie Nesbitt donated her empty lot for the neighborhood gardening project. She's received donations from neighbors and free supplies from Lowe's. Children were recruited to help with the gardening and have grown kale, cucumbers, tomatoes, as well as several other vegetables and fruit. The garden is available to residents to anyone who stops by while volunteers are tending the garden. Being in the middle of one of Columbus's most violent areas, it provides hope and help to the local neighborhood. This is a great example of doing what you can with what you have and where you are. We wish this neighborhood garden continued success. And over in Scotland, there are hundreds of small therapeutic gardens and community land plots being manned by volunteers who turn plots of land into places where individuals can socialize and heal. On average, there's a new garden sprouting up every week. The charity Trellis is currently providing support and guidance for over 500 therapeutic gardens. Trellis started 13 years ago and is really starting to catch on as more evidence reveals it, the therapeutic value of the gardens for those who are suffering from mental health issues. Do you want to help locals recover from various issues? Consider starting a similar program with your local health organization. And did you know that urban farming could gross over $160 billion annually. Let me say that again, $160 billion annually. A study published January 2018 indicates that urban agriculture could yield 180 metric tons of food a year. The study also indicated that urban agriculture could also reduce the urban heat island effect, help with stormwater runoff, nitrogen fixation issues and pest control issues and help with energy savings by reducing transportation costs. This study reaffirms what many homesteaders already knew and have started to tap into. In my opinion, the study missed the effects urban farming could have in the healthcare system by providing healthier choices for individuals at more realistic prices. And over in East Hempfield, Pennsylvania, on October 2nd, the township supervisors held a meeting where they passed a zoning amendment concerning non-commercial livestock for small home lots. This new ordinance simply states the number of livestock allowed on your property based on animal weight and the amount of acreage you own. Livestock is defined in the ordinance as, but not limited to, cattle, goats, horses, mules, donkeys, sheep, swine, poultry, alpacas, and even llamas. The stated limits are as follows. Livestock 10 pounds and under, 12 per acre. Livestock under 65 pounds, 2 per acre. And livestock greater than 65 pounds, 2 per acre. So if you live in Hempsfield, Pennsylvania, Please contact your town supervisors for more information. That's all the news we have for you today. If you found this information useful and would like to stay informed of homesteading news, please subscribe 
and click the bell icon below to be notified of the next video we upload. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you think will benefit from it. And please comment below to further the discussion of these stories. Thank you for joining us and we hope you have a fantastic day.